Before I start on this, I have to say that Steve St. Woody was extremely, extremely stupid by betting for himself in Collingwood and deserves suspension. Maybe not, not 10 weeks, 6 weeks. But the problem is, what the AFL is saying for 6 weeks, they're saying what Stevenson did was worse than, say, someone like Andrew Geff, who punched someone in the head. You can say, weeks. Then you have players who do drugs, you know, yeah, <laughs> coke or ice or God knows what. But if they self report like Stevenson, they get nothing. They just get off or put into rehab. But Stevenson doesn't want to self report to himself. Yeah, 10 weeks a kid, or if you didn't report yourself, 22 weeks. And this is double standards from the AFL. Here's a company that one of the big sponsors to have for them, a betting agency. So you see at games on TV, them advertising betting everywhere and saying, oh, betting's a good thing. This is fun. This is good for you. And I bet the money they get from sponsorship from the betting agency to the AFL has come from people losing money on bets. A bit double standards. And then you have the AF, and the AFL using this is probably loving this because they're hiding it from hiding this information, no, hiding they can hide this stuff with Stevenson, so they can hide the stuff of an AFL fans because it's hoping that they get the sus- suspension just be neutral, make this fan, AFL treat fans like idiots under the you know, put it under the um pillow or put it under the carpet. So have, but it won't go away; it will come back. But the AFL just being arseholes and trying to thinking, oh, we can hide this. Oh, if you even use Steve-O and the media will shit on Collingwood and make everyone look like the club bag him and bag him. And that will get us away with it. So, AFL, this is what we have at AFL. You got double standards and fuck you.